What type of animal is Isabel in the game Animal Crossing? Oh, if you don't do this to me. <laughs> if if you know. You know, they're all they're all in hamster territory for me. They all <laughs> look like Jesus. hamsters. Guten Tag gamers! Welcome back to another episode of Stan versus the Internet! I don't know, I've never hosted this one before. Does the audience clap? I'm gonna make y'all do it all the time. Today we're joined by one of my best friends, Ify Wadiway. So much better than Shane. Uh, yeah, man, how you doing? Good, good, I'm feeling good. Feeling I'm glad. confident, ready. I'm glad, you were you're a uh, pro gamer if ever I saw one. Well, you know, I try to be. You try succeed to be, to be oh. sir. Would you say that you are a gamer, Stan? Oh yeah, I, I stand video games. I spend too much money on them, spend too mm -hmm. much time with them. Uh, they've destroyed all my relationships. Yes! I, I, yeah. So this game is pretty simple. It's called Stan versus the Internet. We're gonna have you, the gamer Stan, fight something internet-based. Usually we would have a person looking things up on the good old Googles, but today we're trying something a little different. You are going to battle this machine. He is stored in the balls. For the sake of humanity, we all know what this machine is. It is an Amazon product. I'm not going to say the name because it's going to fire it off in your own homes. And that's going to make the video difficult. So it's going to respond to something different today because we thought about things because we're smart and we plan it, Smosh. Hey, if you found this video without subscribing, well, thanks for finding us and clicking on it. But hey, if you want to see more cool stuff, why not subscribe so you don't have to hunt us down every time? Let's hop on into it, man. This is my first time uh, hosting this game, so please, I'm going to probably check in constantly to ask how I'm doing. I okay. need solid validation. Right, well, right now you're doing great. I like you a lot, yeah. Ify. Uh, thank you so much, man. All right, so uh, if you get this question wrong, I am going to ask the internet, aka this Amazon product, and uh, we're gonna keep track of these points, and for the sake of humanity, you gotta win. Right. Otherwise, Skynet does. Uh, so question Numa eins. What fast food chain offered gold-plated Pokemon cards in the 90s? Uh, I think that was Iffy? Yeah, that was me. That was gonna be Burger King for the Pokemon 2000 movie. The oh. answer was... Burger King! Uh, wow, oh. dude, you, you, man, some I, of these questions, you're gonna just nail, it's clear. Oh yeah, because I, I had the one, but it was a Jigglypuff, so I was real mad because I wanted the Pikachu, but they would randomize dude, the ones that they would yes. give you. It wasn't, you didn't, you couldn't choose. Perfect, well, Ify, you're, you're nailing it so far. You are one for one. Right. So next question is, fighting game related, mm. which Street Fighter character was initially inspired by Bruce Lee? Ooh, ooh, hold on. Oh, I'm mixing up fighting games, but I think you gotta, it's going. You gotta hit the wacky button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so let me hit it so okay. I can start my answer. Because yeah. it's 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 one of the like because they were they ended up being brothers at some point, point. Uh, and I and the name is just slipping for me because they came back in Street Fighter Four because that's where my man's Cody's from. Final fight came through, and I like Cody because he he uses a knife and throws rocks, and I was like, that's finally a real street fight. Like you don't wear boxing gloves. <laughs> yeah, wait, how is fight. how is that legal for yeah, everything yeah, else that they're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, like come on. I can but, throw a rock. That's, oh, yeah. Oh, is it Fang? That is not the correct answer. Oh. Um, so now we're gonna ask this Amazon product uh, the same question: computer. Which Street Fighter character was initially inspired by Bruce Lee? Here's something I found from the article Bruce Bloitation on Wikipedia. For video game franchises, Super Street Fighter 2 character Fei Long was designed as a homage to Bruce Lee as well. Uh, the answer is Fei Long! See, I had the F, I had the F there, but I didn't have did. the, the rest. Well, I know Street Fighter not at all. So yeah. when you said Fang, I had to look at that and be like, is there a possible way yeah, that this is no. pronounced as Fang? Well, the letters you, are there. Well, no. as a bonus point, I kept mixing it up with Law from Tekken, who is I so like very Law. obviously uh, inspired by Bruce Lee. Law is really yeah. cool, yeah. What did Nintendo originally sell before making video games? Oh, oh yeah, uh, that's playing cards. Iffy, the answer's playing cards. Yeah. Immediately, immediately. Yeah. The when you learn how long Nintendo has been around, it's almost scary. It's like, <laughs> it was like 1893, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They're very, yeah. It's like a bonkers destiny. What is the name of Crash Bandicoot's sister? Oh. <laughs> no. 
in Crash Team Racing, she had great acceleration. I always played as her, she was dope. I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark. Can I give a hint? What's or, the hint? Or, no, uh, no, no, good, go. Same first letter. Okay, then that's good, because that's <laughs> what I was gonna say was not that. Uh, just for fun, what were you gonna say? We're not gonna count it. Uh, Bonnie. Bo okay, it's, it's, I can't remember. <laughs> it is definitely not Bonnie. Connie. Ah, oh, you just, you're close, okay. <laughs> Computer, what is the name of Crash Bandicoot's sister? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Crash's sister is Coco Bandicoot. Coco Bandicoot is correct! Oh, if, I, if I went by her nickname, Coco, mm -hmm. instead of her government name. You know? <laughs> Which is Bonnie. We got Connie wow. Bandicoot, a.k.a. Coco Bandicoot. Coco Connie Bandicoot. How many bosses must you defeat in Cuphead? And I think we're talking base game here, not the DLC. Okay. Ooh. I did not beat this game, so this is a test. Me neither. I'm gonna say nine. Oh, okay. So, no, that is not the answer. <laughs> I was, I was, you'll see why I went, woo! Uh, <laughs> computer, how many bosses must you defeat in Cuphead? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, there are 19 bosses in total, uh, with 17 being debtors and the other two being King Dice and the Devil. Internet gets it! The answer is 19. Uh, in order to 10, 12. I thought you were gonna guess 19. Yeah, and so nine. I was like, damn, oh, yes. <laughs> As of 2019, how many PlayStation 4 consoles have been sold? As of 2019. Yeah. And since it's a specific ass number, I'll give it to you if you're like super close and not quite exact. Okay. I can do that. I am Game Master. <laughs> 3,906. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's, that's too much, that's too much wrong, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm uh, proud of you for attempting it. Uh, computer, as of 2019, how many PlayStation 4 consoles have been sold? According to Ign.com, PlayStation 4 has officially sold and shipped 100 million units worldwide to retailers as of the three-month quarter that ended on June 30th, 2019. As Game Master, I said I'd give it to you if you were super close. They were within two million of what I have on the card here. So I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> well, they're definitely way closer Sorry, than I was. I don't know that. <laughs> well, thank you for not dictating my life choices, computer. Know your place. All right, I'm giving it the internet. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're down, the... but you're not out. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Where, where's your head right now? Oh, it's time for a comeback. You know, we've, yeah. we've done this before. We've seen it many times before. Terminator. Maybe you're 11-1 in a Valorant game. Maybe maybe you're, 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 you're the only one in your squad left in Warzone, and there's still 40 people left. Uh, maybe... <laughs> Maybe you know you, you, you've uh, been knocked all the way back to the beginning of the world gig and Fall Guys, you know. That's maybe, true. You know, maybe you're playing with you know the Nuggets and your friend chose Golden State Warriors in 2K. But, sure. You know, but in the end, through pers perseverance, anything can happen. I feel like that monologue deserves a big fat point. <laughs> Smash cut to the end of the video when it's six to two. <laughs> yeah. like, oh. <laughs> you know what? If if it comes to it at the end, that monologue may deserve a point, and I'll decide that as game master. <laughs> what are the names of the actors that play Mario and Luigi in the live action Super Mario Bros. Oh, movie? No. Just give me one. Just give oh. me one. Gosh, I hope I'm right about this. <laughs> He's the man. He's in so much. I'm just gonna say, John Leguizamo. Computer, tell Ify how correct he is. <laughs> so what is the name of the feline party member in Persona 5? <laughs> you chose the one that I don't play. No! I know what it looks like. The name, however, escapes me, so I'm gonna say. Well, can I give a hint? Is that is that allowed again? Yeah, you can give a little This character shares a name with a Darkstalkers character. 
you like fighting games, that's the best I can do for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then I'm gonna just take the guess of the only uh, known uh, Dark Stalkers character that's in my mind because as a child, uh, we, you know, we didn't have it as easy as y'all. Felicia. Oh man, I thought you were gonna do a different one. Dang it! No, I'm sorry. Ah, computer. <laughs> what is the name of the feline party member in Persona Five? According to HardcoreAgamer.com, essentially the Teddy of Persona Five. Morgana is an adorable cat that goes oh, into battle. Oh my god, the other hot cat. usually character. ends a fight in style. <laughs> oh, I tried, man. Oh, I tried. So currently, the standing is humans with three points, internet with five points. That is a lead that you can definitely overtake. I can yeah. see that happening. Oh, yeah. No, this is time for me to come back. It's time to focus up. Let's do it. Focus up. All right, Iffy, what state does Far Cry 5 take place in? Oh. Oh my gosh, I, I, I played this and New Dawn. I have the, if you, oh. Oh, it's one of those Midwest states, so, oh gosh. Okay, Hope County, Hope County. There's only one state in my mind and I feel like it's not the right one. Use the heart of the cards, Ify. Hope County, Wisconsin? I feel I'm afraid not, I'm sorry. Computer, what state does Far Cry 5 take place in? The tourism board of the state of Montana partnered with uh, Ubisoft after Far Cry 5's release to use some of the setting imagery for the game to promote tourism to the southwestern part of Montana. Well, the difficult thing here is, for me to admit, is that like usually we've had a human Google things and that's why yeah. it's like versus internet. So it's clear to me that when you take the human element out of any side of this, yeah. the computers are just kicking our ass. Yeah, it's so interesting too, because uh, if you haven't played Far Cry 5, it mm -hmm. means Montana Partnered with Far Cry Five to uh, to 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 boost this game that has a uh, doomsday cult that is <laughs> has taken over a whole county and are slowly killing off people to promote the state. <laughs> Look, man, Nebraska's got corn. Montana's got death cult. You yeah, gotta yeah. go with what you I got. You gotta get out there. You gotta, well, I had the, I had the county. Though. You had the, I mean, which is that. wildly impressive. Yeah. Again, at the end, if I feel like it, I'm just gonna give you points for all these things that I'm citing. That was a good <laughs> thought. Um, all right, it's time for some low-hanging fruit. Okay. What type of animal is Isabel in the game Animal Crossing? Oh, Ify, don't do this to me. <laughs> Ify. Ify, no. We're Smash Bros. You've seen, you've seen it. In the Smash Bros. In the Animal Crossing. Isabel. Yeah. I'm looking oh. at her head. Wait, what does her head look like? <laughs> and you're gonna be mad because I don't know if this is 100%. That's okay. I believe in you. Is she a, is she a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Computer! Computer! What type of animal is Isabel in the game Animal Crossing? When Animal Crossing, New Leaf introduced a golden Shizu named Isabel to the cast, she immediately became a huge hit among Nintendo fans. She's a golden Shizu, but we would have accepted Doug. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm thinking, it's like, the one thing I can't accept is cat. I'm sorry. I don't see the dog features. You know, they're all, they're all in hamster territory for me. They all look like She's, hamsters. Dude, I would have taken hamster. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, it's all right. We got this, we're moving right on. What is the final track in all Mario Kart games? Rainbow Road? Give me that point. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, th these are the auxiliary points I could give you later. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, I, if I feel like it. Humans need this, 2020's rough. Okay. <laughs> what video game was created by the world famous designer, Notch? Oh. Minecraft. Yeah! yeah. Right. Don't call it a comeback if you never left. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first console to release a Pokemon game? Oh, that's almost a tricky one because I, I know when I got it, but it's technically Game Boy. Yeah! Because I got it when it was on a Game Boy Color. Oh, this one's dope. I just want, I don't even care if you get this right. This is just <laughs> interesting to know. What national restaurant chain did Atari founder Nolan Bushnell create? And it's a multiple choice. Okay. A, Applebee's. B, Chuck E. Cheese's. 
C, Chick-fil-A. Excuse me, that was a burp. I'm gonna take that again. <laughs> a, <laughs> is that how I know I'm getting old? I was like, Bruh, uh, my, that burp hurt my oh back. God, oh, already got indigestion just reading these names. I know. Sorry, I had some water earlier. It hurts. <laughs> um, okay, so A, Applebee's. B, Chuck E. Cheese's. C, Chick fil A. Or D, TGI Fridays. Ooh. Oh, we'll just try B, Chuck E. Cheese. If he. Why don't you try these points? Mm, yeah! That was a good guess. Yeah, because I'm thinking the video game guy is probably gonna want a restaurant with video games. Yeah, I don't think we're trying to do trick questions yeah, here. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that's like a pretty solid, <laughs> yeah. solid choice there. Oh, wait a minute. No, I gotta call this out. Humans and internet are even right now, folks. I, I mean, I've never been more excited about anything yeah. since, since I was a boy. Oh yeah. Since Papa told me that one day, one day, if you will need these facts. And remember, please remember, Isabel is a dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Iffy, who is on the cover of NBA 2K18? 2K18? Mm-hmm. I want to say Clay, but I feel like Clay Thompson wasn't on that era. And I'm going <laughs> to hit this. Mm. And I'm going to say LeBron James. Oh, Ify, I wanted you to get it so bad. You were so close, I think. I don't yeah. know. Just from your reasoning, yeah. it sounded like you were damn close. Computer! LeBron time. <laughs> <laughs> Who is on the cover of NBA 2K18? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the cover athlete for NBA 2K18 is Kyrie Irving of the Boston Celtics. Damn. damn. Out of left field. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, I've got to do this. I don't even remember Kyrie being on the cover, so I don't deserve that at all. Ify, we got three more questions for you. All right. You could make up this lead and then some, I believe in you. All right. Humanity needs this. How many different shapes are there in Tetris? Mm. And for a bonus point, do you know what they're called? Okay, well, I'm not giving the bonus point. <laughs> I'm gonna say seven. Ify, the answer is seven. Yeah. Whoa! Do you want to take a guess at the bonus? What those uh, shapes are called? Uh, square, <laughs> long boy, bronchi, uh, and and uh, and uh, L and upside down L. Damn! I wish I could give you points. They're called tetriminos. <laughs> oh, you mean there's a general name? Yeah, get out of here, <laughs> tetriminos. No, they're called shapes. All right, Iffy. Two uh, two more questions. We are all tied up. Humans and internet. Believe in your dreams. Set fire to the rain. What is the best-selling video game in December of 2017? Shoot. The best-selling video game. Shoot, you say? Hmm. Uh, my guess is going to be Fallout 4. Okay, that was your first guess. What was the second one you mentioned? <laughs> oh shoot! Oh shoot! They didn't. The first one wasn't right. Oh, uh, the second one. I have to go back to 2017, and I don't even remember. Yourself. Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Ah, I'm afraid not, Ify. But that's okay. It's this is this is a surprising one, but not so surprising. Okay. But it is kind of surprising. Uh, computer. What is the best-selling video game in December of 2017? The most successful video game by units sold in December 2017 is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which really? sold 60 million yeah. copies. We are all tied up with Iffy having several auxiliary points because I feel like it. <laughs> Iffy, final question. Uh, who currently has the high score on Donkey Kong? Oh my God. <laughs> this oh my is gosh, it's a Twitch streamer because he just broke it. Uh, he just broke it, and it was the most unenthusiastic. If you can, I would play a clip of him breaking the record because it's the most unenthusiastic reaction to breaking it. And I literally played this clip on uh, Super Punch, and I cannot remember this man's name to save my life. But I can give you a reenactment of him going, "Yeah, I will accept that." Yeah. That was, I trust me, watch it. It's just like that. And I was losing my mind. I was like, you just broke one of the longest standing records. Yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> Damn, that's a good answer, Iffy. Computer, who currently has the high score on Donkey Kong? Here's something I found from the article Billy Mitchell, video game player, on Wikipedia. In 2004, 
Mitchell had achieved a Donkey Kong high score of 933,900 in front of multiple witnesses at the Midwest Gaming Classic. The computer got it wrong! Mitchell strikes again. The answer is Robbie Lakeman. So, looking at this board, we have humans tied with internet, but if he watched this down here, these are your cool guy points. Your cool guy points. Humans win! We need this! We need this! Don't take this away from us, we need this. Everybody just accept that it happened. If you wear the gosh dang hat, can people find you? Oh, man, if you Wadi Way on Twitter and Instagram, if he's on Twitch, uh, you know, just keep hanging around. You'll see me pop up. Y'all, thank you so much for joining us for yet another episode of Stan versus the Internet. Internet. Yeah, I love that y'all were ready, even though we've we never done this. Do that on this show. I the other do. Show. I've gone mad with power. Uh, if you've also gone mad with power and are not done watching videos, even though we've told you this video is over, well, gosh dang, why not click on this video over here, right? It's over here. Cool. Another Smosh Games video. What's up? Hey, but if you want another video because you're you're drunk on power, click it down over here. And gosh dang, if you want to find more of our videos without having to hunt for them, why not subscribe in the bar down below?